Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. Um, and in this video, I'm actually going to be doing more T-Mobile 5G home internet speed tests. Um, so it's actually 12.34 p.m. Um, on a Wednesday, so I'm going to be doing some here before work. Um, I'm probably going to only be doing three on the West Norton PA server like I normally do. Um, and then I'm going to be doing three on the uh, Ashburn VA server, which is a little bit further away from me. Um, well, actually, you know, a lot further away. It's like 119 miles away. Um, the uh, West Norton PA server is only like 27 miles away from me, so that's not really that bad. Um, but I don't know if it really matters, you know, when it comes to, you know, servers and stuff, how far away they are or whatever. Um, so uh, let's actually get into this video. So like I've said, um, I am using third-party equipment. I'm using a uh, Chester Cheetah version 2 uh, gateway slash modem, whatever you want to call it, um, and that's actually hooked up using a, uh, to a, uh, waveform antenna, 4x4 four four waveform antenna, um, that's actually facing out the attic window, um, toward the closest tower to us near a truck stop down the road, um, so let's actually, uh, open up the speed test app and see what we get here. Okay, so that's definitely a good sign. It looks like the uh, the ping is uh, down. And the uh, download speed is very good for, you know, 12.36 p.m., you know, on a, in the afternoon. And like I've said, you know, the, in the afternoon, you know, there's a lot of people online, you know, uh, you know, kids, you know, uh, teachers, um, you know, stuff like that, you know, people at work. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's a very, you know, uh, busy time of day. Um, so this, you know, these speeds are very good for, uh, you know, this time of day. So I'm really glad to see, you know, that they're holding steady now. Um, like I've said, you know, they were, uh, being, you know, horrendous for the last couple of days. I had to actually restart the gateway a couple of times. Um, but I haven't actually restarted it recently. So these are really good speeds for, um, you know, not having to restart it. Um, so 619 on the download on that one, definitely not bad. Uh, 9.21 on the upload, definitely not too bad. Um, our upload speeds are not good here, like I've said in all my videos. Um, so it just is what it is. Um, and then uh, only 21 ping, so definitely not bad. So there we go with another ping spike again. So this is what I don't understand. I don't understand why the ping spikes like this sometimes and then it uh and then it gives me, you know, below 500 or 600 for speed. And then it was like kind of hanging there as well. So I don't know what, you know, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know why it does that sometimes. I don't know if it's the speed test app. Um, but I know the speed test app actually got an update yesterday, um, so I don't know, you know, if that has something to do with it. I don't know if they're still working on the towers or, um, you know, doing tower modernization, um, like they said they were doing for my area. Um, but like I've also said, you know, you have to keep in mind that I also have security cameras running 24-7, um, and my mom's downstairs, you know, either on her, um, computer or phone, um, or her tablet, so... Um, you know, the internet's, you know, still being used, you know, while I'm doing these speed tests. Um, so you have to keep that in mind that it's not going to always be, um, you know, really fast or, you know, whatever. So, um, so not too bad on that one, you know, 489 for the download, um, 8.91 for the upload and 42 ping. You know, I'm not real happy about that ping, um, but... You know, I don't know. I mean, I don't know why the ping just, you know, keeps going up, it seems like.
I'm going to have to definitely mess with the uh, band locking this weekend when I'm off, because I'm off on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So <clears throat> I'll definitely have time. Sorry about my voice being a little raspy, by the way. I'm drinking some green tea here while I'm doing these tests. Um, I actually have, I, I think I have somewhat of a cold coming on um, as well, so that's definitely not good. Um, so uh, this one, not bad, though, on the download. $5.99 for the download, almost $600. Uh, $13.8 for the upload, um, and 39 ping, so the ping is a little high. I'm going to... Uh, switch over to the Ashburn VA server here. So I don't know why the ping, you know, I, I just don't understand. I mean, a lot of people seem to be having ping spikes as well. Um, so there, there's definitely something going on. And actually, last night I actually tried to call a friend of mine... Um, and I was having problems actually getting through to him. I was, I was having problems making the call. Um, so I don't, I don't know what's going on. It seems like T-Mobile is just messing up, you know, all over. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'll check down detector in a minute actually and see what's going on. Um, see if there's anything going on in that app. Um, so on this one, uh, not bad. 521 for the download, 21.3 for the upload and uh, 39 ping, so the ping is normally higher on the server anyway. Um, but let's check uh, down detector and see if there's anything going on. So yeah, actually now it's showing more red. So that's definitely not good, guys. It doesn't actually indicate any problems at T-Mobile. It's not in the, you know, yellow or red, you know, for here um, but it's actually, uh, yeah, it's actually, uh, somewhat in the red and yellow. It is actually showing that, um, with the chart there. Um, and down here definitely doesn't look good. You know, that's, uh, basically saying, uh, you know, that there's problems, um, you know, going around. And actually there's more people having problems with the T-Mobile 5G home internet now. Um, again, it was down to 28% yesterday. Um, and now it's actually overtaken the, uh, mobile phone um, and now it's at 37%, and, uh, mobile phones at 35%, um, so that's, that's definitely not good. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with T-Mobile, but I've, I've definitely been having problems with them recently, um, you know, it, whether it be with ping spikes, um, or, you know, trying to make calls, let's check Metro by T-Mobile. So yeah, Metro by T-Mobile was in the red somewhat too, as you can see there on the chart. Um, and it's got, you know, a lot of, you know, red on here as well. Um, so 62% for mobile phone, um, and then it says 38% for mobile internet. Um, so that's definitely not good. Let me type in, uh, <clears throat> Verizon here. See what Verizon's doing. So Verizon is actually saying 40% for mobile phone, uh, 5G home internet, 26%. So that is, you know, still, you know, quite a bit of a chunk there, you know, 40% and 26%. So that's, uh, you know, not as much red as T-Mobile, though. But, you know, that's still uh, still definitely not looking good for T-Mobile. I, I don't know what's going on with them. But, you know, it wasn't red over here before. It was red you know, over here, but it's, you know, getting redder, it's getting, you know, definitely, uh, more red, which is not good, um, you know, and, and it's, you know, just, yeah, that's, that's just not looking good, um, you know, anytime you have 37% for 5G home internet and 35% for mobile phone, um, it says, do you make it your business or, uh, let me see, my gateway is not working, gave me an error, 1005, um, that's actually what, uh, that, that's actually what the text message error was when I was sending, um, I was trying to send text messages, I was getting that error, 1005, uh, um, so it doesn't, you know, really say anything about, uh, T-Mobile 5G home internet there, um, but, you know, we're, we're still getting our speeds, though, um, but it does seem like the download, you know, I mean, the upload speed is a little bit slower on the server, um, normally we get like 25 or 30, um, on the upload on the server, and, you know, the ping is definitely still high, 
um, but it's normally higher on the server anyway, but, um, it does seem like the ping is, you know, still high, though, you know, higher than normal, but, I mean, I'll, I'll take that, you know, over the, you know, over slower download or upload speeds for sure. But now the upload is actually going up to, like I said, you know, 20, 30. So not bad on that one. 570 for the download, 36.5 for the upload, and 40 ping. Run one more on this one, and then uh, run one on the, uh, one, you know, maybe two more or three more on the West Norton PA server. So yeah, as you can see, you know, the ping is uh has gone up again, you know, on this one, 46. So that's definitely and the and the download is not getting over 500 to 600, so something, you know, something is still going on because I I've, I've just been having problems not only with the T-Mobile 5G home internet um, you know, not being consistent, you know, mostly with the ping um, you know, and the download occasionally. Um, but I've, I've been having problems with my phone as well, you know, sending text messages, um, you know, calling people, um, so, you know, it's definitely not good. Um, so on this one, you know, not bad, but, you know, it's still below what we normally get, 491, uh, for the download. It's very usable, you know, it's definitely better than 50 or 40, uh, for the download or less, um, and then 32.1 for the upload, so that's really good. Um, and then 40, uh, 46 ping, um, so the ping is definitely, you know, high. Let me run, like, two or three more on the West Norton PA server. And I'm probably not going to reboot the gateway or anything because I don't think that's going to do anything. You know, I mean, I'm I'm still basically getting the speeds that I normally get. Um, you know, and they're you know they're really good speeds for 12:46 p.m. on a Wednesday. I mean, occasionally you know like 480, 450 we get you know, but you know that's that's still you know very usable. And then they you know normally go back up to 500 to 600 again, so that's definitely not bad. Um, so on this one, definitely not bad, 633 for the download, 15.1 for the upload, and 40 ping. So I am hoping that the, you know, ping goes down. And it did actually go down a little bit on this one. I mean, I, I don't, you know, like I said, I mean, Down Detector is really a good app. I highly recommend it, you know, especially if you have, you know, T-Mobile uh, 5G home internet or, you know, um, you know, anything really, you know, it keeps track of anything that's down. Um, the app hasn't been updated in a while. I hope that they actually update the app um, because it hasn't been updated in a while and sometimes it doesn't, you know, load right away and stuff. Um, but they do have a down detector website if you want to use that instead. Um, you know, I actually use that sometimes because in my opinion, it's actually, uh, somewhat better than the Android app because at least with the website, um, I think they actually keep that updated. Um, so Ookla, if you're, you know, listening, you know, definitely, um, you know, update your app, you know, you definitely need to update your app. Um, they, you know, they update the speed test app every now and then. Um, but they don't keep that app updated, and I just don't understand it. Um, so on this one, definitely not bad. 613 for the download, 14.4 for the upload, and uh, 35 ping. Run, uh, run one more after this, and then I'll get off of here. So the download isn't bad now. I mean, it seems to be holding steady again. You know, it's getting over 600 now, you know, or at least over 500 now. You know, I got, you know, a couple of those like 480, 450, but, you know, seems to be holding pretty steady now. So 625 on the download on that one, 13.8 uh, on the upload, uh, basically 14 and then 40 ping.
So, I mean, the ping, you know, like I said, is high. I mean, it's definitely higher than it normally is. But like I've said, me and my mom, you know, we don't game or anything, so I'm not, you know, I'm not really worried about it, you know, for, you know, those kind of purposes. I'm not, you know, worried about, you know, gaming or anything. So definitely not bad on that one, except for the ping, you know, being a little bit high. Um, so 656 for the download on that one, 13.3 uh, for the upload, um, and 40 ping. So the ping, you know, the, the ping is still definitely messing up. You know, it's still, um, let me actually see, make sure my phone has service. So it is actually saying T-Mobile up there, so... Um, yesterday I actually pushed out a video, um, I was, I was talking about it, you know, I, I posted a video, um, just a short video, I was actually, uh, getting ready for work, um, and, uh, I looked down at my phone, I was in the, uh, bathroom, um, and I was, I was, you know, looking down at my phone, um, and, uh, you know, I, I noticed, I looked up there and it said no signal, um, and I was like, wow. Um, so the first thing I did was, you know, I thought to myself, well, maybe my payment for my, uh, phone bill didn't go through. Um, so I, I kind of thought that it wasn't that because, you know, it's on the same bill as the T-Mobile 5G home internet. Um, and if that wasn't paid, you know, then we wouldn't be, you know, having home internet. Um, so I was connected to the Wi-Fi, you know, I, you know, tried stuff. Um, you know, not only that, before I, uh... Before I actually, you know, did that, I, I, uh, you know, tried to move around and see if the T-Mobile, uh, logo would come back, and it actually did, um, but I noticed that my, uh, my signal was a little bit, you know, less, uh, strong than it normally is around here, um, so, you know, I tried my data, and that was working, so, um, you know, after that, I went into the T-Mobile app, and I looked at my account, um, and it said my account's not doing, my, uh, balance is not due until the 30th, um, and it's only the, uh, it's only the 27th right now, um, so, you know, I, I thought to myself, well, it's not my bill, um, you know, because I haven't, you know, I haven't missed that or anything, um, and even if I did, you know, I could just pay it, you know, I, I have some funds, you know, where I could just pay it, you know, backup funds and stuff, um, you know, where I could just pay it, but, um, you know, I, I don't really understand, um, you know, what's going on with T-Mobile, like I said, you know, it could be tower modernization, um, you know, it could be, um, you know, the towers are down, you know, network problems, um, you know, I, I don't really know what it is, but I, we, we normally don't get these kind of pings, um, you know, or these kind of fluctuations and speeds and stuff, so we definitely, you know, are having, you know, some kind of issues here, um, you know, with T-Mobile, I don't, I don't know what it is, and not only that, um, but my phone has been acting up as well, you know, like I said, with the no signal, um, you know, we, we hardly ever have that problem, so, um, you know, I, I don't know what's going on, um, my phone seems to work fine at work, you know, so I, I think that it's, you know, possibly to be, um, you know, it possibly could be just the tower near me, um, because the tower at work is like 20 minutes, 30 minutes away from me, um, so, you know, that's, that's actually up on a water tower, um, in the town where I work, so, um, you know, that's, that's very possible, you know, that's only affecting this tower, um, but I've also heard that a lot of people are being affected, you know, not only on Down Detector, but on Reddit, um, you know, so it's definitely, um, you know, I, I definitely don't know what's going on, but it definitely seems to be, like, network-wide or something, um, so I'm hoping that they're gonna fix it, so, um, let me actually run one more speed test here just to see what we get. I am glad to see, though, that we're still getting, you know, over 600, you know, 500, you know, around that, you know, area. Um, but, you know, the ping, the ping is still a little bit high. I mean, it's not crazy high. I mean, we did get that one ping spike in this video. I think it was like 57 or something. But, you know, ever since then, it's actually went down. Um, but it's still, it's still high. I mean, we started out, it was only like 20 or 21. Um, and now it's, you know, 39, you know, and 40, and, um, 
you know, so that's definitely, you know, that, that's definitely telling me that there's something going on, because, you know, it, it, it just doesn't normally, you know, it's just not normally this high with the ping, um, so, I mean, not bad on that one, though, 12, for 12.54 p.m., you know, on a Wednesday in the afternoon, um, like I said, you know, with people online, you know, a lot of people online at work, um, you know, kids in school, you know, getting ready to get out of school and stuff, um, for the day, and, you know, like I said, just people, um, you know, online in general, you know, definitely not bad speeds, um, you know, except for the ping and occasionally the upload, you know, and the download being a little bit, um, you know, inconsistent or a little bit, you know, fluctuating, um, you know, a little bit fluctuation, you know, all that, um, but, uh, not bad on that one, though, 642 for the download, uh, 13.5 for the upload and 39 ping, so I'm hoping, you know, like I said, that the ping comes down, you know, but, um, I might actually, what I might actually do, I might actually restart the gateway, um, you know, because if they were doing any, you know, maintenance or anything, um, you know, I'm going to actually restart the gateway before I go to work, um, and I'll, I'll do that, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I leave for work, you know, here shortly, so I'm going to, um, you know, restart the gateway and see, you know, if that helps with the ping, which sometimes it actually does, um, so, uh, I'll do that, and I, I believe that it's actually supposed to rain today, um, so that also could be a, you know, an issue, you know, with the ping and the, um, you know, the inconsistency of the download and the upload speed, like I've said in my other videos, um, that weather definitely does affect this service, you know, any cellular service, um, you know, for that matter, whether it be your cell phone, um, or home internet, you know, so you have to take that into consideration, um, you know, when you have a service like this, um, so anyway, you know, I'm gonna do that, I'll probably restart it, um, you know, before I leave for work, and I'll, you know, let it refresh for a couple hours, um, and then I'll come back home, you know, around 11 or 12, um, you know, I'll probably try to get a video out, you know, at, in the night time, you know, before the next day, um, but if I don't, you know, I'll, I'll get a video out, you know, sometime tonight or the next day, um, you know, or, or tonight, but, you know, basically the next day, um, you know, around the next day, you know, because I get home from work around 1030, um, I work night shift at a school, so, um, so I'll try to get one out, you know, before the next day, you know, before, uh, you know, Thursday, um, you know, before it's officially Thursday, um, so I'll try to do that, you know, before, uh, you know, the next day, um, you know, I'll get one out tonight, you know, try to around 11 or something, um, and see what we get, so, um, like I said, you know, definitely not bad on the download and the upload, you know, 642 for the download, uh, 13.5 for the upload, and the ping is a little bit high, but, um, you know, not, not too bad, though, I mean, other than that, uh, one ping spike we had, um, which I believe was like 57 or something, um, and then we had a couple of 400, you know, four, uh, 450s and 480s, but, you know, that's definitely, um, you know, still usable, but it still does, um, you know, seem to be fluctuating, like I said, um, so I'm hoping, you know, after I reboot it, you know, I'm hoping that it'll, uh, you know, get the speeds back up on par, um, on par, you know, and, uh, we'll go from there, so, like I said, you know, I'll reboot it, and then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go from there, you know, we'll run some tests, um, you know, when I get home from work, uh, this evening, um, or tonight, um, so we'll go from there, um, but anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, um, I just wanted to get this video out there, and if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and until next time, guys.